welcome back so today I want to talk about water now water is something that can be done in army quite well and it's quite efficient although a lot of people don't know how to do this so I'm going to show you right now so this is my scene right here it's just a bunch of spikes and stuff and when I play uh, the scene in uh, viewport mode because I don't actually have a camera in here well not that I'm using you can see that it looks pretty damn awesome uh, as you can see we can go look uh, quite well at this water and uh, the scene is you know quite ends quite a uh, abruptly uh, there's nothing behind here as you can see it's just the scene it's a really quick thing I just put it together like in four seconds we have a nice little lens flare we've got like these big spikes we've got the sky and uh, the water is nice and transparent now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to do this so let me close out here as you can see in the scene if you look, uh, if you press one on your numpad, you can see that they're all um, on the horizon. You see that red line here. You might not be able to see actually due to YouTube compression, but there's a, a red line here that's um, that is the uh, limit uh, the, of the um, in the center. It's uh, the limit of the grid. And uh, then going under the underneath here is obviously 3D space and into the unknown. Uh, so I set this actual um, thing. I set it at uh, the peak height is so where the water is going to be because it's going to be at the level of our actual thing. For example, if you wanted an island, you have the water coming down here and the big island over here, like bump uh, above the horizon. Uh, so that's the easiest way to define where the water is and where it shouldn't be. Now, what we're going to do once that uh, island is well. The big, big spikes are, are placed is we are going to go down to our scenes tab now over here as you can see it's set to viewport which is what I was uh, nav navigating around for here we have the armory exporter and uh, well we can define uh, what uh, what format we want it for 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 me it's PC so I'm gonna leave it on PC uh, not the army project we need the army render path and in the render path we have all these awesome things like the render we can find all the different um, the uh, amount of detail and things like that you got the shadows uh, voxel and here in the world tab which is a very interesting tab we have clouds water so well yeah, you could probably figure out uh, here um, we have what well, is it's very self um, it's very easy to understand uh, by your, uh, by yourself. You got the uh, frequency of the water. You got the speed. You got the displacement, which we are actually going to augment a little. We have the density. We can augment a little, and uh, uh, well, the reflection I think as well. So it's good to have a bit of reflection and a bit of refraction. That can't help. That can't hurt harm. I've added. Uh, I set it to clouds and I've set it to water because obviously you you want water. And uh, once we've done that, we can play it again. And as you can see, I changed the color to red, so we should see the effect right now. And there we go, we have a bloodbath. As you can see, this is pretty awesome. And it's very useful uh, for like defining, like uh, island, making islands and things like that. And uh, we have a pretty awesome scene, and it handles it really well, and the, the water flows nice, and it, you don't need to overthink it, you don't need to code anything, it's, it's nice. You know, we've got some nice refractions going on here, we've got obviously the reflection of the actual islands, and uh, you can see through the water, and you can augment how dense you want this to be, and how much refraction you want. So if you don't want to see any of the, like, pillars underneath your augmenter, you would just change values to your liking, that's all you need to do. That's what's really great. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you understood it, it really wasn't hard, but uh, yeah, thank you very much and please subscribe for more if you want more.